1996 A Game of Thrones was published. It started the epic fantasy series A Song of Ice and Fire, which is over 4,000 pages long and has over 1.7 million written words compiled in the five novels so far released, with two more books yet to be written. American novelist George R. R. Martin, the author of A Song of Ice and Fire, was born in 1948. He became a celebrated fantasy author and his books are sold over 90 million copies worldwide with over 46 different translations. I'm happy to present this first book in a new series from the Foley Society, who do plan to publish all of the books in the A Song of Ice and Fire series, with A Clash of Kings coming next year, in 2020. This edition is divided into two volumes, with each volume containing eight illustrations by Jonathan Burton, and the first volume has an introduction by fantasy writer Joe Abercrombie. The volumes are three quarter bound in two-tone cloth, with printed and blocked cloth sides in silver and gold. The top of the pages are coloured black, and the edition also comes with a printed slipcase with an illustration within the slipcase. The end papers are printed with the different house sigils on a thick paper. And here we have the title page with the frontispiece. The book was printed and bound at Lego in Italy. The book is printed on Abbey Pure paper with two colours throughout. The 
paper is very smooth and has a good thickness to it. The paper is also acid free, cream colored and of course pH neutral. <laughs> and the text size is uh, quite small in this edition. Now please enjoy the illustrations by Jonathan Burton. Thank you. 
And lastly, here we have the map of the world. It's bound in a cloth bound book. And please take notice that the map is rather large. Uh, here is the book in comparison with the map. And that was my presentation of A Game of Thrones by J George R. R. Martin. Very excited that the Full Society decided to publish the whole series. I've wanted hardcover editions of this series for a while. So I think this is a good time to reread them. I have read A Game of Thrones two times before. Uh, I have read up the first four books. I have not read A Dance with Dragons. But uh, yeah... I think this will be a good time to start rereading that series. But what do I think about the illustrations by Jonathan Burton? I have mixed feelings about them. I would have wanted a bit more raw and uh, grimy, uh, realistic style art, I think. Um, his art style comes off as a bit cartoonish in a way, a bit light-hearted. Um, but I still, I think I, yeah, I, I, I can see why they chose him, but uh, I'm not sure if they will keep him for the whole series, I don't know that yet, but I hope, I actually hope they do, I would rather have the same illustrator for the whole series than uh, mixing them around too much, because that can create a bit of a uh, mishmap, mishmap, mishmash of... <laughs> Of uh, different styles that, um, yeah, it, it doesn't really work well, I don't think. Unless they do keep the overall style and feel of the illustrations. But I, yeah, I, I think they're going to keep him for for the whole series. But I think yeah, the, the binding style and the house sigils and end papers and things like that look great. The letters also uh, and the overall design of the book is um, quite, uh, looks quite great so yeah that's a good thing but other than that i hope you enjoy this presentation or review if you want to support this channel you can do so in two three ways you can 
go to my Patreon page and support me there. Or you can use my Touch and Affiliate link or my book Depository Affiliate link and uh, support this channel through those sources. I don't get much, but uh, <laughs> I really appreciate it. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope I will see you all next time. Goodbye.